The impact to me as a small business owner is, uh, is indescribable. We're not able to do what I've been doing for 26 years. It's impossible. There's, there's just no way to pay anything. The challenge is that we have a giant space with very high overhead and our model is based solely on social gatherings and we can't socially gather safely. Therefore, we can't make revenue that we need to pay for all of the bills that we have. COVID strikes at the very heart of our business, which is bringing people together to gather in spaces just like this, just like XBK, and we can't do that. And until we're able to do that, businesses like ours aren't gonna be able to survive. This has been the most impactful thing that could possibly harm our business, not for today, but for years to come. It will take us years to recover from this, years. On average, we would have 2,000 people come through, and those 2,000 people eat and drink somewhere else in this neighborhood. So we are a feeder, an economic feeder to our own neighborhoods. Venues aren't simply a business. Venues are a form of secular communion. They're a place for society, all walks of society, to come together and exist together and see each other as other humans and enjoy something outside of themselves together. An investment in the independent concert business is not just an investment in our business or in other independent concert promoters and venues across America. Quite simply, it's an investment in the cities that they reside in. Our business doesn't just sell tickets. We also generate revenue for restaurants, bars, coffee shops, hotels around us. Musicians and comedians depend on independent venues like this. And now they're depending on us because even though everywhere is closed right now, they're predicting 90% of independent stages aren't gonna be able to afford to come back. The scariest thing for me is employment for all the teams and people that have worked for us over the years. It's totally rough on employees. We furloughed everyone, almost everyone right away. And the few people who haven't been furloughed are working only a few hours a week. We're completely shuttered. There's just not any work for anyone to be doing. We are huge taxpayers and we pay a ton of money in sales tax. We're a decently large employer and we generate a big economic impact. My greatest fear is not reopening. The reason Neva is a brand new organization is because we as independent venue owners have never asked for assistance ever in our lives from the government. The fact that we are speaks volumes to the direness of our situation. Without help, we won't survive. The difficulty for us compared to other industries, when other industries start to go back to work and they start hiring their people back, we're still gonna be in the place that we are because we are very, very likely, as we were the first to close, to be one of the last businesses to reopen. And in being the last business to reopen, if we're unable to bring our staff back because we have no work for them, we're gonna have a, a difficult time meeting the needs of any of the percentages that are applied to us for our business to be able to actually use the PPP money. And overall, when it comes to what it's going to take for us to start back up, that's another long-term situation of at least three months or more. We're not looking for a handout. What we're looking for is an investment back into us the way we've invested into our communities. We need support. There's no other way to get through this.